last 15 fucking months. COVID could suck a dick. All these little weird ass government policies and mandates suck a dick. Stop trying to take our civil liberties away. Feels good to be back outside. We outside for real. It's called the God given right of freedom, right? No human being is supposed to tell you you can't even breathe freely. Fuck your mask. I'm not saying. Some of y'all might feel differently, but fuck your mask. I can't ram to you with a mask on. We can't eat food with a fucking mask on. We can't even see each other smile with a mask on. Damn, no. I come from a time. Yo, what's good? Hit that thumbs up. So that was Buster's rant on COVID-19. Um, some people were kind of upset about it. Oh, he's not an expert. He shouldn't be talking about that. I'm like, bro, he's an American citizen, right? He's been living through this pandemic, right? He's been affected, right? I'm pretty sure he's lost people too. I mean, I knew somebody that's lost their cousin last couple of days ago. Um, but I think that's just him showing his frustration. You know what I mean? He's been affected like everybody else. And he had a difference between him and everyone else who feels the same way. We didn't have the stage presence that he had and we didn't have a microphone to actually say anything. Um, but he's right, in my opinion. Uh, these masks are not helping you, bro. <laughs> Unless it's that 95, these masks are not helping us. This, this piece of cloth right here, either one or B, I don't feel any more safe with either one of these on. I only wear them because certain places mandate you to wear them. I don't feel, oh, I got my mask on and I feel like dun, 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 and I could take on the world. No, this shit is a joke. That shit ain't saving you, man. That shit ain't, but you'd be surprised how many people have been manipulated by the media to think that, you know? Buster made a great point on his Drink Champs interview and he was like, yo, man, y'all got these babies walking around two, three, four, five years old wearing masks all day at school and at whatever. They lung power and they lung capacity is still developing. Y'all are messing up these babies' lungs. Like, what are y'all doing? You know, you can't see somebody smile. I could relate to that because when I mean, he talked about how you couldn't see somebody's face for almost a year and a half, my supervisor and me worked together five days a week. I did, I forgot what the girl's face looked like because for a year and a half, she never took her mask off. And she didn't do that under the nose, half-ass shit. She, the whole everything, covered I forgot what she looked like. I said, God damn, Sarah, who are you? You know what I'm saying? Like, seriously. You know, but now for me, my personal experience, I'm not a hermit. I don't live in a bubble. I'm an essential worker. I got to get my hands dirty to make money. I didn't have the opportunity to sit at home and just live in a bubble and watch the news. You watch the news all day. They got the death toll in the corner, the upper right-hand corner. This many people died. This many hospital beds is, is, is unbacon. It's just horror all around you that you're looking at. I had to go out here and work and still live like a normal life. I was a central worker. I had no choice. You know, so I couldn't live my life in fear. I was just as alert and just as aware of everything as everybody else. But I had to, they, my job was still telling us to come to work. Both of my jobs. So I had to come out here and face COVID-19 and be, you know, and face fear in the eyes and all of that. So for me, it was different. Now, as far as like all these strict laws in New York, I mean, it's sad. You know, I had a homeboy of mine told me he had to get vaccinated Sunday because he, he was he just tired of being home. He can't go nowhere. You know, you can't go anywhere. A man can't take his wife out to eat if it's their anniversary. You know, you got to go out of town or something for something basic. A little dude can't take a shorty to the movie theater for their little first date. It's sad. Now, I do find it funny. They're allowing people to do these hip hop concerts. Summer Jam in Jersey. Uh... Uh, what you call it, verses in Ashton Square Garden. They'll let hip hop, you know, because they know black people, they'll let them do that. But most of but a, a restaurant as simple as Subway, you, if you're not vaccinated, you can't eat here. What? Niggas can't even tell you what's in the tuna. They're telling you you can't eat here. And I'm like, nah, man, this, this whole thing, anybody who's been through COVID has a, uh, my bad, has a right to voice their opinion on this matter. You know, it's just like when voters, but people who vote shame. If you didn't vote, you don't have an opinion. Well, if you've been around living through this, you do have an opinion. You might not agree with what Buster said, but somebody did. That crowd was definitely, I'm pretty sure somebody in that crowd said, fuck this and yanked their mask off. You right, Buster. <laughs> but, you know, I just don't feel any safer with these masks, man. I don't. I got a nice black one and I got that disposable one. I don't feel safe with that.
You know, only time I feel safe is when I'm in my house. You know, and like I say, I don't, I, I, I'm not going to a, I haven't been to clubs and bars, you know, I, I'm not going nowhere with large crowds. I'm not going to festivals and stuff like that. I still social distance. Uh, I always had the five feet space. I shouldn't be able to smell your breath. That's always been my rule. Um, so I just had to learn how, how to adapt. Uh, we all are, but some people choose to just live in fear and just hang on what the media tells them. Every time you turn around, the media is trying to scare you again with some more shit. Now you got the Delta variant. You got to have to take booster shots every eight months. This, that, this. I'm like, nah, nah. Nah, nah. There's ways to be informed without just watching the news and being programmed all day. That's what I'm telling you. Find ways to get informed. Did you see that CDC uh, website? They got the zombie apocalypse. You know, they're telling you to warn you about that. Did you see that? Is that on the news? I don't see CNN plugging that. I don't see MSNBC plugging that. You know what I mean? But they, they do slide a lot of shit under here without you noticing while you're sitting there stuck watching Anderson Cooper and Don Lemon and all these puppets. Uh, that, you know, Don Lemon was telling people, if you don't take the V shot, uh, yeah, I had to say the V shot. If you don't take the V shot, then you're irresponsible and this and that. I'm like, yo, shut the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? You can't blame any specific person on a man-made disease that y'all made up and brought over here and shut the damn country down. And that's all I got to say about that. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section about Buster's rant on COVID.